Sophia Montalbano's first trip to Schweitzer was one she'll never forget. She says while she was skiing earlier this month, a coyote attacked her. 50 some odd shots later, she's sitting down to tell me more about what happened on this mountain just a few weeks ago. Sophia Montalbano says she's been skiing all her life. It's fun, something I grew up with. But one run at Schweitzer Ski Resort scarred her in ways she never thought were possible. It's just that's never something I ever thought would ever happen at a ski resort. While she was skiing, she says a coyote attacked her. So it appears behind me, and so I start trying to go straight down to the cat track as quick as I can. And it bites my leg, and then I turn around to hit it with my ski pole, and then... I uh, accidentally go into a tree well, and so then the coyote then starts going crazy on my wrist. Montalbano was separated from her group and fought the coyote off until help arrived. We managed to get it away, but it kept doubling back and trying to get us, which was crazy. And then um, I managed to unclip from my skis and climb out of the tree well, and then we kind of trudged through the snow all while trying to hit it away with our poles because it kept trying to come back at us. Following the attack, she received tetanus, rabies, and antibody shots. I lost track after 40. A Schweitzer spokesperson says wildlife is a part of the environment the mountain is in, but it's always important to keep your distance. Sometimes these animals become habituated because people are feeding them. And so we really want to avoid those types of interactions and letting our wildlife here stay wild. When you're out on a mountain like that, you're in coyote habitat. I mean, stuff like this just it can happen anywhere if you're out in the wild. Despite the scary situation, she says a few scratches aren't enough to keep her from doing what she loves. I mean, I've already gone skiing again. I'm never going to not love skiing. But now, she says, she'll ski and pay a bit more attention to what's in front of her and behind her. Idaho Fish and Game maintain coyote attacks are rare and that they have killed the coyote that attacked Montalbano. The animal is being kept for testing while the state agency works to capture other animals in the area. From Schweitzer Mountain, Janelle Finch, Creme 2 News.